Hey everybody, this is GGB. We're gonna be getting into the noon window for these Saturday football games. Let's start out with some rank ones at 12 o'clock. We got number three, Florida State, start of the season 2-0. and Terminal to Boston College. Uh, narrowly avoided being eliminated from playoff contention last weekend when they eked by Holy Cross in a miracle of a fumble. <laughs> wow. Uh, they're now 1-1. One one. Florida State favorite by 26 on ABC. Jordan Travis in his first two games has gone 38-60. Thrown for 517 yards, six touchdowns, one interception. Trinity Benson on the ground has had 21 carries for 126 yards and three touchdowns. And Keon Coleman has had 12 catches for 170 yards and four touchdowns. Florida State might be pretty good, guys. Thomas Castellanos has gone 30 of 51 through his first two games. Thrown for 339 yards, four touchdowns, one interception. He has also led his team on the ground with 25 carries for 136 yards and a touchdown. He's actually looked pretty damn good for the Eagles here early on. To be fair, they've been playing Northern Illinois and Holy Cross and lost to one of those two football teams. But uh, a lot of that cannot be put on Castellanos. He's really led an electric offense so far. Jaden Williams has had four catches for 105 yards and a touchdown. Uh, Florida State leads the series all-time 14-5. to Last four games have gone to FSU from 2018 to, to 2022. Three of those last four, though, have been one-possession football games. It's been close games most recently with Boston College and Florida State. I don't know if that happens this year. Obviously, Florida State's off to a tremendous start. By the way, i like to mention it since we were talking about number three, Florida State. We have one team from each conference in the, first, in the top five for the first time since, I believe, 2017. It's been a hot second since we've seen all five conferences have at least one really good football team. This year, we have it. We have all five conferences packing at least one phenomenal football team. ACC's is Florida State. Florida State looks amazing. They look borderline unbeatable against LSU in the second half. The first half against LSU was a very beatable football team. And a lot of people, my dad included, is like, Florida State probably has an easy path to the playoffs. And I don't quite believe it because if the floor, first half Florida State team that showed up in the LSU, a lot of teams can beat them. I understand that the second half Florida State, and ever since the second half, they've looked phenomenal. They didn't look that awesome against Southern Mississippi. I understand they blew out Southern Mississippi, but Jordan Travis didn't look like a Heisman contender in the Southern Mississippi game. He looked it in the second half against LSU. He didn't look it in the first half. I'm saying this is a beatable Florida State team by really good football teams. Like, I think Duke has a shot. I think uh, I think Clemson has a shot. I think who's the other tough team to play. I think Miami has a shot, and then if they draw UNC in the ACC championship, UNC has a shot. There's four teams out there in the ACC that can has a chance of beating Florida State. This is not an easy path to the playoffs if you're Florida State. you got to be careful for every game. Thomas Castellanos is a really good quarterback. The problem is you're not on a very great team in the Eagles. This is a Florida State victory, and it's a Florida State victory by a lot. Give me the Seminoles to win and cover on the road.